Hello friends! Today we're going to can tomatoes. If you are a subscriber to our channel and you've watched anything lately, you know we have tons of tomatoes. And so today I'm going to can them. We've already made tons of hot sauce or salsa, but now I just want regular tomatoes for soups and stuff for the winter time. Chilies and stuff like that. So, I'm going to show you what um, we need to get started and uh, you can go with me step by step. Okay, the first thing you're going to need, of course, is tomatoes. Now, I went ahead and I cut these up and I will tell you that you can leave the skin on them or you can take, them, take it off. Um, to take it off, you would just need to drop your whole tomato in boiling water for about 30 seconds, take it out, put it in an ice bath, and then the skin just falls off. Um, there is nothing wrong with leaving the skin on. It's kind of a personal preference. It's not a safety thing or anything like I've done really studies about that because I, I uh, wanted to know why. And so um, in my studies, I found that really it's just a preference. Uh, some people find the skin tough. Um, we're fine with it, so I'm going to leave it on. I also leave it on with my salsa. Um, I, I will tell you a tip, though. If you are growing your own tomatoes, if you will pick your tomatoes, my mother-in-law showed me this, and it really works. If you'll pick your tomato when it's just barely red, when it starts turning, um, and then just put it in your windowsill or somewhere where it can ripen, your skins will be much softer than those in the store or or if you just let them vine ripen uh, all the way. Okay, and then of course you're going to need your jars. Uh, sanitize them really well. Make sure they don't have any cracks or nicks or anything. I did have to uh, throw away a couple when I was going through those. You'll need cannon salt. This is totally op optional. You can use regular salt. I just like using cannon salt because I think it helps not cloud. Uh, or you can just use no salt. That's totally optional. Uh, and then you will need some citrus citric acid or you can use lemon so uh, juice or vinegar I prefer um, to use this and then you'll need your bands you can use those over and over and over from you know canon you know recipe to recipe but you will need new lids and always use a new lid this is a little thing right here it's just going to keep get the bubbles out when you're pressing it into your jar and then this is jar lifter um, and then you've got your cannon pot. This is just a big pot. You can, if you have a, a stock pot the, um, that's uh, deep enough, you could use it. Um, you just want your, once you get your jars in there, you want them to be able to be covered one to two inches with boiling water. So we've got that going, um, trying to get that to a boil. Now, uh, when you get your jar, I'm going to do what they call a cold pack. You can boil your tomatoes and then um, put them in your jars, but I prefer this method. I'm going to put them in the jar, and um, and then you're going to press down. I have one here that I've already done, because kind of the last minute I decided to go ahead and film this. Um, so I just put my tomatoes in there, and I press and press and press and press, because you want your juice um, to... To come out these are these are going to cook down and so you just press and press until you can't fit any more in there otherwise you're going to have uh, about that much tomatoes and then about that much juice and we want as much tomato in the jar as possible you're wanting to leave a head space i usually just kind of always but as a rule of thumb with anything i'm doing i kind of go by this first little notch here so so that's how we're going to fill our jars Here's one that I've almost got here. So just get your tomatoes. And I cut my tomatoes fairly big because I know they are going to um, cook down and they're not going to be this big. So there we go with another jar. And then we're going to take our little thing that's come in a kit. And this, you know, shows you how you can do your head space and all that. Uh, but you can eye it. And you just get your bubbles out. Okay. It just helps you know how much, so you can barely see how much that juice went down like right there. Some people like to put more juice in there. I usually don't because this is going to make more juice. 
okay, as it cooks down. See how I just press that and it just comes right back up? So um, I think those are fine. Okay, once I get all of these, um, as many tomatoes as I have here, as my jars filled, then I'm going to put my salt and my citric acid in. You can put it in first, you can put it in last, whatever you prefer. So I'm going to get my tomatoes in the jars and then I will be back. Okay, so that bowl of tomatoes made eight pints. Um, and then a couple of them are a little less than a pint, but okay, so four pints I'm going to put in one fourth of a teaspoon of citric acid okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that each one put it on top you can put it on bottom like I said whatever your preference is some people like to put it in first so they don't forget I'm going to put it in last because I'm not going to forget. Okay, so we're going to put that in each one. And then we're going to put a half a teaspoon of salt. And like I said, that is optional. And I'm using the Canon salt, which is also optional. Now, um, I just put it in this little thing here to make it easier. Um, it, you're your canner will come with a um, little thing like that but it only holds seven so I am going to do something that I've done before I'm going to put a towel in the bottom of my canner and um, that way I can get all eight in there otherwise if it was seven I just go ahead and use the rack so um, I'm going to put a towel in there and then also get you a hot paper towel and you're going to need to clean each top really really well so there's no finger oils anything no tomato anything that would make it not seal now i also have my bands and lids over here boiling so they'll be hot when i stick them on there so um now i'm going to wipe these down and i'm going to put my towel in the canner and i'm going to get my lids and bands on and we're going to start putting them in the um in the canner okay so i got all of these um wiped off i'm gonna get my lids and bands and put them over here and um i'm gonna go ahead and put my towel down in the canner and this is boiling you want a good boil you don't, you don't have to be vigorously boiling but you want it to be boiling and the way you'll know how much to um how long to boil it for for your area it's 40 minutes at sea level uh, just google your wherever you live and it'll tell you what your sea level is for my air and then it's two minutes you add two minutes to that um, per thousand feet so we live like at 990 something feet at sea level so I'm gonna do mine for 42 minutes. So I got my lids and bands, I got my towel in there, and um, this little magnet came with a um, canning kit that I got. We're just gonna put it on our jar and our band. And we'll tighten those down pretty tight. Not so tight that I'm gonna mess up. I think they call it finger fingertip tight or something like that. Pretty tight. And then we're gonna lower them down into the canner and start our timer. You actually start your timer after it comes back to a boil because it's kind of it's probably gonna stop boiling after I put all of these jars. Now these jars are warm. You want your jars warm because you can put it in that hot. It'll they'll break and I have them break even though sometimes however careful you are you're still going to have accidents but it's not scary don't be scared so we'll lower lower them down in there really carefully 
that we're done with that pot. So, there's one. And then this jar lifter with a rubber sod to grab the jar. We'll just put it in there really, really slow. And remember, you want your head space or your um, water to cover your jar by about, I usually like to do two inches. Now I'm going to tell you a little trick, and I've done this both ways, like I've showed y'all today, and like I'm fixing to tell you. If you want to skin your tomatoes, um, you don't want to do it like I'm doing it. You can skin your tomatoes. Then. One of the easy, you can do the water, like I told you, the boiling water, then the cold, or you can do, you can put them in the freezer for like overnight and bring it out the next day or after they're frozen solid hard and you can rinse them under just a little, you know, your sink, your water and you, the skin will just fall off. It's wonderful and, and I've got actually some in the freezer because we've made, our garden has made so many tomatoes that I just could not keep up with salsa or um, doing this or whatever so I just got me a big Walmart sack when I was out there picking and I just picked it full and I stuck it straight in the freezer and I'll get to it when I can so that's what I'll do with those is I'll just run them under water and uh, the skin will just fall off my grandparents had a peach orchard growing up and we did peaches the same way very very easy you can make smoothies with them whatever you don't have to skin them that way so we've got this is our last one we're putting in and now never just put it straight in without a towel or your rack okay and then we're gonna let that come to a, to a, a soft boil like boil and then we're gonna set our timer for 42 minutes and that's it it's so easy anybody can do it and this is called the water bath method okay we will. okay our 42 minutes is over so we're going to turn our fire off and we're going to let them sit for about five minutes take the slit off and let this sit for about five minutes and then we will take our uh, take them out and put them on a cup towel on the cabinet. Okay, it's been five or ten minutes, so now we're gonna get them out, and hopefully, none of them broke. One looks good. We'll put them over on a towel, especially if you have granite. Make sure you don't put them on a cold hot jar on a cold um counter you got all this work and then it break right at the end so good so far or far so good <laughs> They look good as far as the juice. Does it look like that's why you press and press down? That way you you don't have just a bunch of juice in the jar. That one's real light. I had a couple of yellow tomatoes. They're called Golden Girls. They weren't real red. Okay, they all made it. So there they are. Now see on this one it has more juice than the others but that's why you want to press them down so you don't have uh so you have more tomato in the juice because when you're, when you're going to make a recipe you need tomatoes you don't need the juice 
that one just has a just a little bit so that's those they look good they look pretty coloring looks great I'm real proud of them so now what we'll do is we'll date them and uh, we'll make sure that they make the little ping sound um, the that middle part there that's sticking up will go down you know make it make sure it seals we'll wipe the jars date them and label them and uh, that's how you make tomatoes Thanks for watching.